first make these Z rails parallel and square to the bottom on both sides here. And once you've found that it's square, you tighten these three bolts. There is a range that these bolts, if they're loose, you'll be able to move the rail back and forth a bit. And uh, you want to find the center of that range and then make sure it's flat and there's no gaps between the, the bottom rail and the Z. These on the top will still be loose. And what you want to make sure is that both of these Z rails are parallel with each other. If they're not parallel, then what you'll see is that the, the bed, as it goes up, it'll get tighter and these wheels won't, won't be loose. They'll be loose on one end and tight on the other and, and that'll add too much friction for the system. Uh, so what you want to do is have them exactly parallel. What I do, it's, it's better to have a very uh, precise ruler, but what I do is I measure between the two rails and it actually works out. The design is such that it's exactly 12 inches and you want to be really precise with this and make sure it's right on that hash mark and then go all the way down here and also see that it's right on the hash mark or whatever mark you pick. They can be slightly off as long as they're the same um, and completely parallel. You do that on both sides and then tighten up these screws on top. If you try and make these Z-rails parallel after the bed is on, you're going to have forces pushing on these rails. Before you adjust them, make sure these wheels are completely backed out and loose off of the rail. This is centric spacer allowing you to back that off a rail, just so there's not the constant pressure trying to push them into each other.